When William Adams was in Japan, he was taken to Osaka and later befriended Tokugawa Ieyasu. To some people's surprises, maybe, he became a trusted advisor, especially regarding maritime activities. However, what? William Adams is shown as a samurai, right? In some of the games, he is depicted as a samurai, just like in Neo. Funny thing about that is in Neo, actually, in the very beginning, as we're seeing, the game starts in Europe. The game starts in England. So because of that, the game starting in England makes sense. William Adams is the character that's going to be featured in the game. Well, the game started in England. He went to Japan. So of course, an Englishman starting the game in England goes to Japan. That's going to make more sense because William Adams actually came from that area of the world and was in Japan. And he had experience with being a samurai. However, he was not this master swordsman initially, even though he had experience in the Royal Navy, if I recall correctly. Anyways, continuing on to the historical figure himself, this would be true to say that he did become a samurai. Tokugawa Ieyasu, as a result of William's acceptance to become that advisor to really fuel the development of a greater maritime capability, among other things, Tokugawa Ieyasu bestowed him the honor of being able to ascend into samurai ship with the two swords. And he allowed William Adams to marry. And who did he marry? He married Oyuki. Even though he had a wife and children in his home in Europe, he married again since he was not allowed to return. Furthermore, he and Oyuki had a son, Joseph. The most compelling detail is not the samurai aspect, not the samurai element. The wildest part that I had learned when I was doing this research and that many students are usually surprised to hear is that he was made a hatamoto. That is a minor daimyo. He was made a minor daimyo of Emmy. 